Hello, this is Jazz Doge, and this video is a little bit different in that it's edited from a stream that I did on DLive. In the future, I'm probably going to stream most small builds there. I'll still post larger projects and the end results of my projects here on YouTube, but feel free to stop by and have a chat while I'm working on things directly. The link for my DLive and this project on GitHub is in the description. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. That's how it was mounted yesterday. And that seemed to work quite well. There we go, there's the tilt switch on. And I remember from yesterday what I did was I just connected it like this. Yeah, that should go on GPIO 2 and that is GPIO 2, so less wiring. There we go. So next up the LED. So I spread the pins like that. I'm going to put them up here just on the side. I think these would be uh, fun things to make for like uh, role plays, except uh, instead of making it a uh, sphere, you can make it into a crystal or something that you can shake to provide light. It's time for the resistors. There we go, that means the only thing left to connect will be the battery. And then add quite a lot of flux to it. There we go, battery grammar on. Let's put a battery in for testing. And then what I need is a small screw. These laptop screws are great. You just buy them in bulk from China. And these tiny screws should be able to just slip into here. Just pop that in under the battery holder. Right, thanks for the uh, follow. I'm almost done here though, so. Once uh, this is in and working, I'm going to call it a day because it's 2.30 uh, a.m. and that's about time to uh, finish. Okay, let's put the battery in. Okay, now it glows red. Yeah, 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 the, uh, what's it called, the PETG. I printed this one in definitely looks better than the uh, the ones that I did in PLA. When it fits really tight, so let me turn off the light so you can actually see what it looks like. This here in the background is the first prototype, and that one's printed in PLA and it's a bit bigger. And then I made uh, this smaller one today. And this one is in Pet G, which I think looks a little bit better. If I compare these two, the one that I printed in uh, Pet G, definitely much better. So, yeah, uh, the way this thing works is you, uh, you shake it and then it turns on in a random color. So this will be red, obviously. Shake it again to turn it off. 
No, that won't get cyan. And the funny thing also is uh, if you if you compare these two, I'm not sure how well that shows up on the camera, but this one looks a lot more green. And I think that's because uh, the, the uh, transparent PLA is kind of yellowish, whereas the transparent PETG is uh, uh, like more clear. So yeah, I, th I th definitely think the uh, PETG one looks better. And they also turn off after uh, uh, turn off on their own after uh, three hours. So I'm gonna put all this on, on GitHub. You can look me up. Uh, I'm Jazz Doge on GitHub as well.